Hello, friends. Today we're going to see artificial airways. From this video, you'll know. What are artificial airways? Mechanism of airway obstruction. Chin lift and jaw thrust. Why it is used. Types of airways. Oropharyngeal airways. Nasopharyngeal airways. Before going to the video. If you're new to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get regular notifications. Also, follow me on Instagram. Now we'll get on to the video. Artificial airways. These are devices that are used to maintain the patency of the patient's air passage. Mechanism of airway obstruction. If the patient is unconscious when a patient on a supine position, the muscles of his jaw and tongue relax and the tongue falls against the posterior pharyngeal wall blocking the airway. There are some methods like the chin lift jaw thrust maneuver which moves the tongue away from the pharynx and relieves airway obstruction. I have already posted a detailed video about the chin lift jaw thrust maneuver if you have not watched that video does watch it. One of the most effective ways to maintain the patency of the airway is by inserting an artificial airway. Because it keeps the base of the tongue away from the pharynx and relieves airway obstruction. Types of airways. There are two types of airways. 1. Oropharyngeal airways. 2. Nasopharyngeal airways. Let's discuss briefly the oropharyngeal airways. As the name suggests, an oropharyngeal airway is placed in the mouth. It is designed in a curved shape that fits well in the outline of the mouth and pharynx. Inserting this airway relieves upper airway obstruction which is caused by the tongue. Parts of the oropharyngeal airway. It has a body. Lumen which acts as an air passage. A bite block prevents the airway from damaging through the bite. And flange which prevents slipping into the mouth. Types of oropharyngeal airways Among them, Guedel's airway is most commonly used, and further into three which depend upon the material. They are black rubber which can be used many times. Silicon rubber which is also can be used and is sterilized by autoclaving. Plastic airways contain different bite blocks to identify the size. But this is a disposable one. Berman's airway. This is the recently popular type of airway. This shape also looks similar to that of Guaidal's airway but in addition, it has a dual channel design, which opens on the sides to allow for unobstructed passage of air and easy access to a suction catheter. As it is open on the sides, secretions will not block the airway. How to select the size of the airway? We can get a rough sense of the correct size by placing the airway at the side of the person's face and it must extend from the lips to the lower jaw. Available sizes. There are six available oropharyngeal airways 00, 1, 2 are used for children, and 4, 5, and 6 are used for adults. Color coded by it portions can aid an easy size identification. The technique of inserting. First depress the tongue by using a tongue depressor or a laryngoscope then the oropharyngeal airway is inserted. If necessary we can use lignocaine jelly or spray to numb that area. There's also an alternative technique to perform the insertion. This time it is inserted upside down until the soft palate is reached. Then it rotated 180 degrees and slip it over the tongue. Disadvantages of inserting an oropharyngeal airway. It is used only for an unconscious patient. Because they don't have pharyngeal reflexes and they tolerate well to maintain good patency. In contrast, for the conscious patient, it induces pharyngeal reflexes and causes gagging and vomiting. Also, it cannot be tolerated by the patient. Next, we'll see about the nasopharyngeal airways. As the name suggests, a nasopharyngeal airway is inserted through the nose. As we already discussed the mechanism of obstruction in this airway is also used to maintain the patency of the airway. Parts of nasopharyngeal airways. Smooth angled tip. Curved body. Flanged end. Top.
Types of nasopharyngeal airways. Depending upon the flange and flared end it is further classified. Both flange and flared end, keep the nasopharyngeal airway in its position without slipping in or out. Choosing the airway. Sizing the nasopharyngeal airway follows the same approach, with the exception that we align it with the nose instead of the mouth or nostrils to the earlobe. Available sizes. Nasopharyngeal airways are measured using the French catheter scale, but sizes are usually also quoted in millimeters. Inserting technique. Choose an unobstructed nostril. Lubricate with lignocaine jelly and advance it at an angle perpendicular to the face. Advantages. The nasopharyngeal airway has some advantages over an oropharyngeal airway, most notably it can be used in both conscious and unconscious patients because the oropharyngeal airway can stimulate the gag reflex. Okay, friends, that's all about today I hope you all like this video. Subscribe to this channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.